To install, either use the GNOME Shell Extension Manager app or use the extension's website. Once you install the extension, you can see the extension active in the system tray quick buttons. The KDE Connect protocol uses port 1714 to 1764 for UDP and TCP. We need to open these ports. On Ubuntu, the default firewall provider is UFW. So, open a terminal and run the following command. Once you have Linux system ready, install KDE Connect on your Android phone. This app is available on Google Play. After installation, open KDE Connect on your phone. Once you set up GS Connect on Linux and KDE Connect on Android, let's connect them. You can see the Linux system detected in the KDE Connect mobile app. Click on the computer name to start connecting to it. Then click on Request Pairing. This will ask me to accept the pairing request on the GNOME desktop. Click on Accept, and your devices will be paired. That's it. The devices are now connected. Most of the settings are available from the system tray. Now that the devices are connected, you can do basic things like send files, remote input, send clipboard, etc. You can see the what you can do by going to the advanced tab in the GS Connect window. Sometimes, it would be better if you could mount a local Android folder in the system for better file transfer and sync. To do that, first, give file system permission for the KDE Connect app on your phone. Click on the File System Expose button and then allow KDE Connect to access in system settings. Once the location is selected in Android device, you can click on the mount option in GS Connect System Tray button. When you go to the file manager, you can see that the directory you selected has been mounted using the SFTP protocol. There's more KDE Connect use cases that I didn't cover in the video, I let you explore it and enjoy a seamless connection between your Linux computer and Android smartphone.